Welcome back to the Jobs Pipeline radio program brought to you by Genesis Oil & Gas. You know, it's no accident that golf has long been associated with the business world. Indeed, there are compelling evidence out there that the game can enhance your business and help you develop professionally and personally. How? Well, for answers to that, we turn to LPGA Master Professional Deb Vangelo of Deb Vangelo Golf. Deb has a long-time relationship with the game. From giving lessons on the driving range to working with LPGA legend Kathy Withworth to also being involved in corporate golf with business professionals such as Donald Trump. Deb, welcome to the Jobs Pipeline radio program. Thanks so much. Great to be here. Deb, back when I, the days I was selling radio and TV advertising, I would take clients out to play golf. Mm -hmm. One day, the females on the sales staff in mass went to the sales manager and we said, we don't think it's fair that John gets to take his clients to play golf. We want to also take our clients to go get Manny Petty's. Sales manager said, awesome, as long as you do what John does. What's that? He said, John took our client out two days ago to play golf, right? Uh-huh. He opens the drawer. Today, John walked in with an order and a check for $40,000. Here's the deal. You go Manny Petty, you bring me back a check for $40,000, you can have all the Manny Petties you want. How important is golf to business? Well, I, I think it's important for a variety of reasons. Mostly it's about relationships, and relationships is part of any business. It can help your business succeed. If folks can spend quality time in an environment that is both beautiful and enjoyable, you get to know people, as you know as a player yourself, mm -hmm. you get to know people on a completely different level on the golf course than you would just in a business meeting, and it's quality time. You know, um, years ago I started with a, a new job, and the owner of the company said, you've got two things you have to do to work here. One, you have to go out and buy a double-breasted suit. The other thing was you have to learn to play golf. Mm -hmm. The reason being is that gave us five hours uninterrupted with a potential client. Right. How often do you see business professionals using golf as a way of, of conducting business and taking it as a meeting? I see it every day because the folks I teach many times are business people who would like to improve the quality of their game, not just for their enjoyment, but they feel like if I can get to a certain level to be able to play with corporate people that have played a lot longer than they have, everything everything improves because if your golf skills improve, it is a more comfortable environment to play in and success all around. And how often do businessmen come to you for, for help, not only with their game, but for being prepared to mm -hmm. conduct business on the golf course? You know, I would say that that is a big part of my business. I think when people initially sign up for lessons, it's more than just learning to play for the sake of playing. They usually have a little motivating factor with it. Guess what? I've got to play in my first corporate event. Guess what? We are going on a trip, a destination meeting somewhere, and golf is a part of that agenda. Can you help me not only with my skills? Yes, that's my job. But what else do I need to know? And there's a lot of those other what you need to know that can really enhance your comfort level. They have a better experience because of all that stuff. Deb, is there a look that goes with business golf? I mean, certain clothes and things that go with it? Mm -hmm. Yes, for sure. You know, I'll tell you what it is. It's, it's, it's knowing what is the proper attire for the facility that you're going to play at. If you go to any club pretty much around the country, there's an expectation that the proper attire is expected. Fortunately, in our business, we are loosening the reins on that because we want to continue to grow the game. But I would say that you for sure want to have proper attire and speaking of proper attire you also need to know how to hold the club and mm -hmm. hit the ball <laughs> how how important is it to take lessons say a first time I, a newbie i'm starting out in the business world how is important is it to take lessons first and at what point do you is it minimal skill to then you can dare go play with the boss or play in a scramble yeah, that's a great question. You know, of course, in my business, I would want someone to have less frustration. So the sooner I can get you to get some basic fundamentals on your plate, the better. I know there's a lot of us that started off playing golf, but just by hitting balls and kind of figuring some things out at the range with our buddies. Right. Trust me, there's a place for that. That is not wrong. But I think if you could invest, you will probably help and get, get some help and get some things figured out sooner by taking lessons. Especially when your first swing you have is really the swing you have for life. So you better do it right the first time yeah, out. Yeah, you know, right or wrong, I don't know if I even use that language, but you're mm -hmm. exactly right. The first time you swing a club, I will see somebody down the road after seeing them the very first time they swing a club. There's going to be some similarities because there's a researched core movement pattern. And it will be the same. Some things will be the same, obviously, with instruction and practice that will evolve. But it won't be drastic different. Right. And we talked about how to dress. Mm -hmm. uh, if you show up, 
what's the etiquette? What are the good manners? We all think of Rodney Dangerfield and Caddyshack. <laughs> yeah. How do you avoid that? What, what's, what are some good basic tips if I show up to play with the president of some important company? What do I need to do? Yeah, well, knowing what the expectations of attire are at that facility, and that is important. It might be simple as, as for men, it might be, yes, a collared shirt is expected. Now we've loosened the reins a little bit, and it might be a different kind of shirt shorts, pants, all of that, and then also knowing the procedures when you go to that facility. Do I check in at the golf shop? Where will I meet my person that I'm playing with? Do I go directly to the range? Do I need to wait for them in the men's locker room? All of these questions that just enhance your comfort level. And don't ask God to bless it after every shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's How what? you conduct yourself, That's certainly. Our son says, Dad, we don't, I don't like to play with you guys because you hit it and gripe. Yeah. I said, well, that's how we play with Senior Golf, Logan. Yeah. In the uh, 30 seconds we have left before the break, Deb, okay. is there a proper etiquette for the 19th hole? There very well may be. I mean, you know, you might ask the question of who's paying for what. That's a question you want to know before you even get to the facility. Is the person that you are the guest of taking care of everything, or do you have that responsibility? Answer, get all those questions answered before you go because it will increase your comfort level. The 19th hole. Yeah, there's a little bit of, but it's a fun place too, so don't make it so strict. Right. Well, we have some more questions, including the strengths of golf uh, as far as using it for corporate entertainment. We want to get into that right And don't drink and drive. And don't drink. Absolutely do not drink and drive either the car or the one wood. And we'll have those questions right after this break on the Jobs Pipeline radio program brought to you by Genesis Oil and Gas. 